Growing up, we all learned how to make jollof rice using tomatoes. But in this video today, family, I want to show you how to make jollof rice without tomatoes or how to make tomatoless paddy jollof rice. You will love this recipe. I've already shown you how to make an amazing stew or sauce without tomatoes and I really love the recipe. I hope you've tried it and you loved it too. In this video today, family, we last sit back as I introduce you to all my amazing ingredients for this crowd pleasing and party pleasing jollof rice. I can't talk much because I know you love it whenever you try this recipe. Please don't forget to like, share, comment if you enjoyed the video. Okay, so let's begin without further ado. Into the saucepan, I'm adding olive oil. You can use any oil of your choice, okay? And I'm adding a good amount of the oil. So now it's heated. I'm adding fine basil and rosemary. Use any one of them if you don't have all the three available. It's all good, okay? I'm going ahead to just stir a little bit because it's the heat is too much. Now I'm adding my scotch bonnet pepper, ginger, garlic, red or purple onion, celery, green bell pepper, carrots, red chili. White cabbage, red bell pepper, cucumber, beetroot, and I'm using three beetroots, okay, three of them. And then I'm going ahead to add my seasonings, and I've got black peppercorns, star anise seeds, anise seeds, and coriander seeds, okay. You can use any natural seasoning of your choice. And you can also use any veggies of your choice, all right? So now give it a stir and make sure the heat is not too high in order not to burn them, yeah? So we're going to fry until some of the vegetables or all of them turn a bit golden. We are frying them just so they release their flavors, okay? So that the outcome of this jollof rice will be super, super amazing. From you, let's say roughly frying the vegetables to be golden brown or brown can take us about 7 to 10 minutes and it all depends on the quantity of vegetables you are frying and also how high or low the heat is okay always let the heat be at the low to medium level when it's too high you might burn the vegetables and then the stew might turn sour and we do not want that okay yeah, so now the vegetables have broken down. So very soon we turn off the heat for all of these vegetables to cool down. And guys, we will continue from there. Ooh, what an amazing aroma. This is so heavenly. You need to be here. Wow, I'm loving this. Vegetables have cooled down nicely and it's time to blend them nicely and smoothly. This aroma is so heavenly. Family, please don't forget to give your girl a big thumbs up, okay? Don't forget to share for others to see. Don't forget to recommend this channel to friends and families. Also, don't forget to comment under the videos, all right? And if you are new here, I would love to have you here. So please subscribe to join this amazing family and you will not regret it. Don't forget to click on the bell button to receive updates from me whenever I upload new videos all right and don't just watch the video this is a must try recipe i'm sure when you try this out your families and friends will love it give this a try bring me the feedback by tagging me on instagram and i will appreciate it all right you can also bring me your feedback by commenting under my facebook and youtube videos here yeah? that's just by the way the first batch is now nicely and smoothly blended it's beautiful I'm going to transfer them into my saucepan, which is already on the cooker top. And guys, we will continue from there. This is the first batch, as I've just said. So now we're going to blend the last batch or second batch here. So our saucepan is also ready. I'm pouring in my olive oil and I'm adding my homemade toro beef or salted beef. It's so fatty and the fat is going to melt in the oil. 
to add its own amazing flavor. I've added bay leaves and guys, this is just the beginning and the aroma is already everywhere in my house. I'm now adding the blended vegetables. This is the first batch. Yeah. And look at that. So beautiful. So beautiful and so aromatic. The flavor cannot be described so heavenly. Very soon I'll add the second batch. Yeah, but before that, keep stirring as usual. So that it doesn't burn, okay? This is so colorful and beautiful. The second batch is also ready. So I'm adding it to the saucepan. And this is so aromatic and flavorful. Wow, amazing. As usual, start to combine. And make sure the heat is not too high. In order not to burn your stew, okay? This stew is too thick for my liking. To loosen it up, I'm going to add water to the blender, wash all the stuck vegetables, and then pour them back into the saucepan. Just like this. And keep on stirring. I'm going to let this stew simmer and cook for about 30 minutes before I add my rice, okay? So in case there is any sweetness in the beetroot, it will all go by that time. So it's about 25 minutes and we are back. The oil has settled on top of the stew. That means it's almost ready or ready to be used. But before that, I'm adding my final spices or seasonings. I've added my shrimp tablet, stew or sauce seasoning, and then my nutmeg. I love nutmeg so much in my stews. I don't know if you've noticed that. I just love the flavor it adds to my stews. That's all. Now I start to mix and combine everything beautifully together. This is so aromatic. And I love the color here. It's so beautiful. Just as tomato stew. Wow. Amazing. The thickness is fine. So I'll let it simmer again for about 5 minutes before we continue. And now we are back. But before we finally make our jollof rice, I'm adding Tuna in sunflower oil, sorry, in sunflower oil is optional, but they all bring their own peculiar flavors to the stew and you will love it. Note that bringing all of these together will help build up an amazing flavor for your love rice. So if you've got it, flaunt it, okay? Add all of them to make an amazing party jello of rice for yourself. Now add salt to taste and keep stirring to make sure the salt dissolves and distributes well in the stew this is so aromatic i can't believe this after adding the final seasoning salt tuna in sunflower oil sari in sunflower oil it does not in there okay after stirring to distribute everything properly let it simmer again for about five to ten minutes for the stew to be finally ready okay now the stew is ready so so ready and since we are making jollof rice we're going to add our rice very soon but i'm going to scoop some of the stew on this side since it's too much for the amount of rice i'll be using or needing for my jollof rice okay this is an amazing recipe and it's a must try but before I add my rice, I've washed the rice nicely, okay? And I've let the water drain out of the rice. So the rice is so dry. I'm going to fry it together with the stew for about three minutes. And this way, it will help enhance the flavor of the jollof rice, okay? If you haven't tried this before, try this and you will love your jollof rice from now onwards, okay? Just want to translate this part in my local dialect. Okay, Through to five minutes later, the rice has fried enough, so we're going to finally add our water to our desired level. At this point, I'm adding just a little amount of water because I want my rice to be single grained and non-stick. 
However, if you want your rice soft, then add a little more water to get the test of rice you're looking for. Yeah? Cover the rice and let the water dry out. About 6 minutes later, we are back and so far about 90% of the water has dried out. So now I'm going to use my wooden spatula to stir, making sure the rice does not break. Okay? This smells so amazing. You need to try this family. It's a must try. Don't just watch the video. As I always say, give it a try. Okay? I'm going to skim some of the oil because it's too much and we do not want all of these in our dollar fries. Okay? After taking some of the oil off, what next? I'm going to cover the rice with kitchen foil, just like this. And then I'll also add my napkin to trap more heat in order for the rice to cook perfectly and beautifully. A few minutes later, we are back to check and what an aroma it's so amazing it's cooking well can you all see that the rice is single grained and it's aromatic give it a gentle stir to turn the rice over from bottom to up just stir and make sure the heat is on the low level okay we do not want to burn our rice at a lot of rice i mean before we finally cover our jollof rice, let's add our chopped up red or purple onion and then butter. Stir to combine to make sure that it's well distributed. Let the butter and then the onion spread evenly, guys. This is a must-try recipe. Just try it and thank me later, okay? Cover it up again with the kitchen foil and napkin for the jollof rice to trap more heat for it to cook to perfection. Make sure your heat is so low at this stage because you do not want fire to burn the rice. We only need the heat to cook the jollof rice and not fire to burn them. 10 minutes later, we are back and this is our final stage. The rice is well cooked, it's so ready. And guys, can you see that? It's single grain, it's non stick. The aroma is everywhere. This is so heavily aromatic, flavorful. For more of these videos, please follow your girl on Instagram, like my Facebook page, follow me as well on Facebook, subscribe to my YouTube channel for us to build this amazing family together. Also, follow me on TikTok. I mean, I hope you've been inspired and you give this a try. Ta-da! I pray this with my oven-baked spicy and peppered tilapia. Both of them are amazing. The recipes are beautiful and you will love them. I've already uploaded the recipe of the oven-baked peppered tilapia on my channel. Check it out, try it, and thank me later. Family, can you see how rich and beautiful this is? It looks like we added tomatoes, but no, there was no tomatoes, and you all saw that. Try this recipe out. Let friends and families know about this recipe, and I'm sure they also love it too. Please like, share, comment on the video. Recommend this channel to friends and families who may also like my recipes, okay? And if it's your first time, hey, you are warmly welcome. I would love to have you here, so please subscribe to this amazing family and you will never regret it. Don't forget to click on the bell button to receive updates from me whenever I upload new videos, all right? Guys, I really appreciate you all. Thanks for the love and support. Please keep sharing the videos and liking the videos, okay? Just to motivate your girl to bring you more creative and appetizing recipes. Thank you all for watching. See you all again in my next video. Until then, stay blessed. Stay safe, be good, take care, mm -hmm. kiss, bye y'all.